What's up guys and welcome back to another one. Unfortunately, not the most positive one, but I'll do my best to try and motivate and encourage you guys in this time. If you're from South Africa, you will know that the lockdown has been extended for a further two weeks and will end, if it does, at the end of April, meaning more people will suffer financially, more jobs will be lost, people's lives will be at stake. At the end of the day, whether we like it or not, whether we agree or not with President Ramaphosa's decision, it had to be done. During lockdown, the, the, the rates have decreased um, and therefore things are working. Yes, there are people that aren't obeying the rules. Yes, there are people roaming the streets, still not dealing with the respectful way with the situation. And hopefully procedures will be in place to reprimand these guys and arrest them immediately because they're affecting other people's lives and putting our health at risk. It's not easy, it's tough. Our jobs are affected. I mean, I have close best friends who own their own businesses who can't work. I have friends whose work situations are at risk. My own work situations at risk. April, I've already got a pay cut. Next month, I won't get pay at all. And um, forced to work from home. I'm still working my ass off eight hours a day for half pay. But it's a situation we've been put in. And it's, whether we like it or not, we're all in this together and we need to abide by the rules and follow them correctly. It's not easy, it's not a great position that we're in, but it's something we have to do. And um, we need to try and look at the positives, even though your brain might be saying, Gareth, there's no positives right now. You're still alive, you're watching this, so you've got internet or data, you've got a house, you've got a family, you've got friends. Remember that. Keep that thought close. Technology has been created to socialize more. You might not be able to go out. You might be, not be able to go see people or see family. I know, I've got a grandmother sitting in hospital for about four weeks now. I haven't been able to see her. Not even my mother, her own daughter, can't even see her mom. We're all in this and there's so many other people who are affected. Just to reiterate, she's in there for um, she fell and broke her hip, nothing to do with the virus. But still, there are people at stake. There are people who have lost lives. There are people who have lost loved ones. There are people who are at risk with this health. And if you've got grandparents and older folk, they're at risk too because of this virus. It can knock them out quicker. It can knock out anyone. Look at Boris Johnson, for example. It can knock out the rich, it can knock out the poor. And it can really, really knock out the poor. So, which is why these precautions and implement and these rules have been put in place for us to obey them, for us to reduce the limitations of deaths, for us to reduce the growth of this virus. I mean, when Sir Ramaphosa was speaking, there were over 300,000 people affected or deaths or something. Now there's over 1.5 million people who's, been, who's got the disease or something like that. It's, it's increasing drastically. It's getting out of hand. There have been countries that have extended lockdown until June. We're lucky to even have two weeks. And whether we like it or not, it's probably not going to be two weeks. It could be even longer. But during this time, we need to reflect and remember what we have. There are people in the streets who have nothing. There are homeless with nothing. who don't understand. They can't get out. There are people who are poor, who are losing jobs, who are losing income, who are going to have to struggle and fight for survival so i encourage you guys to remember that to keep strong to keep motivated hold on to your loved ones tightly appreciate every single friendship you have keep them close keep them strong if you're feeling lonely turn on skype talk to them keep sociable keep motivated let them be your flow of happiness and joy i've got Mates who have chatted to on Skype, and after the Skype call, I feel great again. I have the YouTube streams to talk to you guys from all around the world. It keeps me going. I encourage you guys to do that too. You might be sitting at home. Some of you might not be working. Go out there and do something, whether it's outside in your backyard or in your own house. Do something different. Challenge yourself. Inspire yourself. Motivate yourself to do something different. To keep yourself busy. Instead of sitting and worrying 
and stressing. We're all in this together. It's not just you affected. It's other people are affected as well. And just remember that. Easier said than done. But if we can try to be grateful and appreciate everything we've got, we will get through this together. We need to abide by the rules. We need to follow all the examples. I credit Sir Ramaphosa for what he's done. You can clearly see he's tired, he's stressed, he's worried, he's concerned. Because whole, probably the majority of the people hate the man for what he's done. But I respect the man for what he's done. And I appreciate what he's done. Because he's keeping our lives safe. And he's keeping our lives uh, still going. So I ask you guys, try in your heart to find peace. Try in your heart to find motivation and encouragement to go through this. It's not the end of the world. We will beat it. We will defeat it. We've just got to stick together and unite as one because a stronger nation is a powerful nation. A united world can conquer everything. So let's abide by government's wishes. Let's do what we're told. Let's respect everyone around us and pray and keep everyone in our thoughts because we're all going to need every form of motivation going around us. South Africa, world, friends, family, Colleagues, stay motivated, stay safe, stay strong, and most importantly, stay at home. Stay safe and never give up. Cheers.